Hello there, this is Alfonso with Eagle, and today I'm going to walk you through a general overview on the Google Apps Admin Console for your domain. So in order for you to access to your Google Apps Admin Console, you go to admin.google.com and then you sign in with your super administrator credentials. So once, once you're in, you will see a dashboard like the one on the screen and you will see some options for you to manage. Now, that doesn't mean that those are the only options that you have to manage your account. If you go all the way into the bottom, you will see a more controls link. If you click on it, you will see a section with more options. Also, if you want to have some of these more handy, what you can do, what you can do is to drag and drop that icon and vice versa as well. If you don't want to have anyone right here in the um, the main dashboard you just drag and drop it into the footer so let's go to the options right here if you go to users you pretty much uh, you can manage your users you can create you can delete and you can edit users you can also manage uh, sub organizations on your domain you can move users to any sub organization and so on so the second one is the billing and uh, billing section you pretty much set up your billing information such as your billing address and your credit card in order for you to process payment for your account the next one is the company profile uh, in this section you have the option to edit the organization's name to select the default language for your users and you have also the option to upload a, your own logo, your company logo, instead of having the Google logo there, you can upload your custom logo. And you can also set up cust custum URLs like mail.yourdomain.com, calendaryourdomain.com, and so on. So the next one is that device management. This is for you to allow or uh, deny access to your users to see their Google Apps accounts from any mobile phone, Android, iOS, or Blackberry. The next option is uh, the support. In this area, you will find all the possible ways for you to get support, such as email address, phone number, so on and so forth. So the next one is the Google Apps. So right here, you have pretty much the services for your organization. Uh, what you can do here is to turn off or turn on a specific service for your organization so depending on your needs and on your policies as well so right right now we go to the footer on more controls and you will see the other options so let's go to the next one reports you can see uh, usage graphics for Gmail for calendar for drive and docs and you can also see the activity in your admin console you will see any change right here like uh, reset password like um, username administration or whatever activity on the admin console the next option is other Google services as you know uh, there are some other Google services such as blogger Google Analytics YouTube Google Plus and so on so you can uh, you can select if you want you can enable or you can disable these services for your domain so the next option is admin roles. You can, let's say that you get a new employee and you need to give them super administrator access. So you go to the section and you assign the super administrator role or you can create your own role depending on your needs. So the next section is the marketplace apps. Uh, right here you will see listed uh, the applications that you have added to your account from the marketplace. In order for you to go to the marketplace, at the upper right corner, you will see a little icon with plus symbol. If you roll over, it says add marketplace apps, and you will be able to navigate through the application and select the one that better, best uh, fits your needs, and you can install it for your domain. The next one is the security. Uh, in this section, you can enable uh, SSL for your domain. You can set up the two-step verification and you can also monitor how strength or how weak the passwords uh, are in your account 
So the next option is the domains administration. By default, you have a primary domain, which is the one you used to create your Google Apps account. You also have a test domain alias provided by Google automatically. And you can add domain aliases or secondary domain up to 600, depending on your needs. So that's a huge number. And the last one is App Engine Apps. Let's say that you have an engineer who has developed an application using Google App Engine, you can access or you can manage rather that application from here. You can turn it off, you can turn it on or you can configure that application. So that's pretty much about the general overview on your Google Apps Admin Console. Now you also have the option to manage your uh, account from your Android. If you see at the right, the right sidebar you have a link to get the application on Google Play and very soon you will have also the application for iPhone or iPad. So that said, uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have any other question, leave us a comment and we'll be happy to give you a hand. Thanks again and you have a great time. Goodbye.